can't resist us because I spoke of Richard a little bit earlier and I wanted to remind our audience, everybody out there, this is a gentleman that has been a mentor and a hero of mine. And had it not been for him, I'm not sure that I would be doing free and equal elections today and United We Stand Festival. He is resilient. This gentleman here has testified in upwards of 400 cases in the last 40 years maybe to better our restrictive ballot access laws throughout the United States. So let's say you're running as an independent. This man has taught me running as an independent and you have to get upwards of 500, 600, 700,000 signatures while it's only 20, 30, 50,000 for re Republicans and Democrats. And because of him, when serving as the National Ballot Access Coordinator for Ralph Nader in 08, I was able to get everybody on the him on the ballot in 45 states plus D.C. And we didn't have enough money for all 50 states, but it's because of him and his wealth of knowledge that he was able to guide and mentor and be uh, take me on, really, like as an apprentice to help overcome the odds. So let's welcome Richard. He is one of the most humble, kind, giving, cares about our country, more than anyone that I've ever known, really. This is the guy. Welcome, Richard. <laughs> Am I red? <laughs> this is my first festival, and I'm really impressed. I, I just couldn't imagine what it was like, you know? Music plus speaking. It, I can see now it's a great idea. So thank you so much, Christine, and everybody that worked to make this thing happen. I want to be, I want to have happy news. So I'm, I only have 10 minutes, so I'm going to give you a little happy news. And I may not even take 10 minutes. And then I get to talk again after the intermission in a panel. So maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll bring some of the bad news up then. But there's a bill been introduced in Congress less than three weeks ago, which truly could revolutionize our political system. It's gotten very little publicity and that's why I want to talk about it. And I'm going to, when I'm off the stage, I'm going to hand out my newsletter to anyone that wants it so you can read more about it. It's H.R. 3863 for proportional representation. Just briefly, most of the U.S. House districts would have five members if this thing passed. And voters would only have one vote, although it would be a ranked choice voting, so you could put it to good use. So the way it would work is in a typical district, if, if it's 60% Democratic, three Democrats would win, a Republican might win, and an independent or a minor party might win. Under this system, with a five-member district, the candidate only needs 16% to get elected. So we would get out of this deadly mess we're in of nobody counts except Republicans and Democrats. They hate each other. They will not work together. And the best countries in the world, every time you see a list of the best countries in the world, invariably eight of the ten of them are proportional representation countries. So this is a baby step toward bringing proportional representation to our country. So I'm going to maybe talk more about ballot access in the panel lately, later, but that's what I wanted to say for now. Thank you.